Hi, I'm Mark Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Vertex AI Search to create a really easy generative AI experience where you can ask questions about a document that you specify, all with no code. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in Google Cloud, and we are in Google Cloud Storage, and we're going to create a bucket that we're going to upload a book into. So I'm going to call my bucket... Uh, Book Bucket, November 2023. And when the bucket's created, I'm going to create a folder. Call that Book Folder. And go into that folder. And here, I am going to upload a file. I'm going to go into Drive and the book I want to make queries against is here. So it'll take a moment to upload. It's a relatively big book and this is a book that I wrote called Deep Learning with Structured Data. And the reason that I want to do the exercise with this book is that it has some specific facts in it. I want to make sure that the app that I create is only answering questions based on what's inside this particular book. Okay, so the book exists now, or I've uploaded the book to this uh, bucket, and we'll come back in a second and show what you can do in Vertex AI Search to create an app that you can ask questions against this book. Okay, we're in Vertex AI Search, and it's saying that I need to enable some API. So we'll kick that off right now. Once the APIs that I need are enabled, oops, I'm actually not in the right place. I want to go to Vertex AI Search and Conversation. There we go. Here we are. And I want to activate this API as well. Once the API is enabled, then I want to create an app. So this will bring up here, clear away some of the stuff here. There are three kinds of apps I can create. Search, chat, where I'm taking advantage of the conversation part of Vertex AI Search and Conversation and recommendations. And what I want to do is create an app for search. So I'll select search. I am going to give the app a name, book search app, name. I am going to call myself British Leyland, I'm a fan. And I need to create a new data store. So the data store specifies the data against which the generative AI search will be done. So let's go through those steps right now. And there are various different kinds of data stores I can have. I can have a website, BigQuery, an API, or something in cloud storage. It's an unstructured document because it's PDF. So let's go and see, I'm going to select a file and it'll bring up here a selector where I can go in and select the file that I want. So this is the, the same PDF file for the book that we uploaded into the cloud storage bucket a minute ago. And now we're going to set this off. We're going to call, give a name for the data store. So call this book data store and let this create. And we'll come back in a moment once this is complete. So now we're looking at the data store view in Vertex AI search and conversation, and we'll take a look at this data store, which is the one that they kicked off just a few seconds ago. And checking the activity, the import is in progress. We'll let this go for a while, come back when it's complete. All right, so the import is completed. You can see the message here saying that it's done. 
And now we can go and take a look and give it a try. So we go back up here to the main thing. Uh, take a look at the apps we have created. We can now create an app. It is going to be a search app. Give it the name. And the company name. And now that we have a data store, we can create the app. And we can preview it. Okay, so we've created an app for search. We've defined a data source for it. And the data source is defined based on a PDF file we've uploaded to cloud storage. And now we can ask some questions against this app. I'm going to ask, what are some of the advantages of deep learning? So it gives an answer that is related specifically to content in the book. And it gives a citation of where in the book it's getting that answer. Now let's ask another question. Why do some people discourage using deep learning with structured data? And this is really one of the theses of the book. And the answer comes back and it answers based specifically on content that's in the book. So now let's say what are some of the characteristics of the Toronto streetcar system. And this is the source for the data set that is used in the book to train the deep learning model. So there's a specific answer here about the Toronto streetcar system. What if you were to ask a more general question? Uh, what are some advantages of trams? And it answers again based on the content that's in the book. So as you can see, we've been able to set up uh, an interactive search that is enabled with generative AI. So we can ask flexible natural language questions and get answers that are firmly rooted in the document that we want them to be rooted in. So I can ask questions about something to do specifically with this book. This has been an overview of how you can use Vertex AI search. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks very much.